In this video, we're going to put together our baseball cap card and uh, certainly can be adapted uh, for other occasions as well by simply changing out the little caption on here. And uh, cool thing about this too is, well, we added just the letter D to signify dad on the cap, but um, if you're crafty, which you are, you can certainly add something that resonates more with dad, whether it be uh, some sort of logo, do a print and cut, or whatever it is, you can absolutely customize this to, you know, to suit your dad or your father. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at what we have here. And it's mostly some paper piecing stuff. So here is our card base. I've already pre-folded it, just folded it in half. And this is our uh, well, this is just the main piece that goes on here. Now, you do need to put it in a certain, uh, well, it's either this way or this way. You want to take this piece and find, line this up so that the bottom of this is flush with the bottom of this piece. And you'll notice that there are two little markers here that kind of hug where the cap brim begins, okay? So the dome of the cap is here. This is where the brim begins. You'll notice that's two little markers to help you kind of figure out where that is as far as where the center is. You want that section towards the bottom. And there's also some markers up here to help you center the little banner and that you want towards the top, obviously. So let's just jump right in here. And oh, look at that, it's a Christmas paper on the back. We're just gonna get this glued down and it's kind of similar to our fedora hat card as far as this uh, this little piece here. But you want to make sure you get your glue out to the edges so that doesn't come peeling off. You want it to hold nicely and look nice and professional. So get that glue out to the edge. Throw a little bit in the center. You don't need a ton. And you'll notice that there are a series of markers. And we're going to use those to get this nice and centered. And of course, you always want to take a look and just give it the visual approval as well because sometimes those markers may be a tad off depending on your cutting machine okay so we'll get that in place just like that very simple give that a second to set now this first layer is going to go on flat okay and again look for those little look for those little markers and make sure that you get that nice and centered so let's just glue this in place this is going on flat the rest of this it's up to you. We're going to, or I'm going to, um, use some foam squares to give this some dimension and make it look really cool. You can certainly glue it down flat if you'd like, uh, but you may as well throw some foam squares on there and jazz it up a bit. Okay, so that is nice and centered. Just make sure that the bottom of this piece is lined up with the bottom of this green piece that I have it on. Press that down. You'll notice that I did some strategic inking here. I didn't want to ink this whole thing because there's going to be layers going on top of it and we don't need to waste any ink if it's unnecessary. Okay, so this next layer that we're going to foam square on, we want to take these two layers, glue this layer on top of this layer. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Go easy on the glue. You don't need a ton. Less is more. It'll dry a lot quicker. It won't warp. Okay, just like that and pop this right on top of this piece so that it matches up all the way around as far as the perimeter goes. And that simply creates the little nose, the chin, well, the chin's down here, it's just the mouth, I guess. Oops, oh boy, my mat's a little sticky there. Okay, that looks nice. Press that down, make sure it's got a good hold. We'll flip her over, flip him over and we'll apply some foam squares. I'm gonna go two up on top, and then probably one on the chin, and then maybe some along the side here where the brim is, and just kind of give it a little push test, make sure it's not bending too much in the center. And I think five foam squares will do the trick here. Should be plenty. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop this well, we're going to use the little top cap of the cap and get that aligned. Pardon my head for a second. I want to make sure that I get this aligned properly because this is going on the website once it's all said and done. Okay, so there we go. There's our first layer. Now, 
I'm going to grab our cap. This is the next layer that's going on. So you want to find this white piece and whatever color you selected with the little stitches cut out. We're going to glue these together and then we're going to foam square this on to the head. Go easy on the glue there. Just match that up. It's a perfect little shadow layer behind it. So just kind of use your fingers to guide you and make sure that everything's nice and lined up. You don't want too much of that white poking out from behind. Okay, there we go. Flip her over. And just like we did with the face, let's get some foam squares on here. I think we can get away with just using four. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna peel those off. Oh, and actually this piece, this is where we put our little logo. It's okay that we're not doing it now. We can always do that after the fact. We'll get that in place. Get that nice and centered. There we go, cool. All right, and then we have one more layer, our little brim. So we're gonna take this piece, glue it to the white piece, our little shadow layer. This has some nice stitching on it, already cut out for you. So this card's gonna go together nice and quick. I would say that dads definitely appreciate a custom card. I would go as far as saying that they probably don't swoon over paper crafts like uh, maybe certain people that you know. Okay, so there we go. I've got that glued together and we're gonna put some foam squares on this. I'm gonna put one here on the outside, one here on the outside, and then probably just one in the center up towards the top. Peel those back. And again, you can glue this down flat if you want. Okay, and then we'll put this in place. Just wanna match that up with the lower part. Well, the existing brim that's there, the shadow layer we'll call it. Just like that, there we go, beautiful. And let's put our little D together. Again, this is where you can really customize it. Uh, the D is made up of three parts. We've got the main red, the back piece is the, the, just the red circle. The middle piece is white and it's this piece here. So we just wanna get this glued onto this, like so, it's a circle. So nothing special about that, just get it glued down. And then this piece here is where we want to put a little extra care into how we position it so that we have a nice even looking D, okay? And just kind of pop that over the white Make sure you've got a nice even border going all the way around. I kind of, there we go. That looks pretty good. Right about there, I'd say. That looks good, right there, bam. Okay, there's our little logo. I'm gonna glue this on flat. We've got plenty of dimension going on here. I don't think we need to really add any more. And that's gonna go right in the center of the cap. Okay, kind of use the uh, use the little the button on top as your center point. Okay, make sure the D is upright, nice and level. There we go, beautiful. And we have a little banner. Okay, the banner is made up of these pieces here. Now this one's gonna go on flat and we're gonna use the little guides there on the green part of the card to help us with the alignment. So just get some glue on this. Maybe just make sure you get a little bit of glue out to the very tips of the little bottom part of the banner and we want to use those little guides to help us get that nice and centered. Pardon my head here for a second. If it's in the way, I can't really tell. Okay, beautiful. There we go. And then we're gonna glue this top section to that piece there. And that's going on flat, but then we're gonna take and we're gonna pop dot this. We use some foam squares to elevate this and give it some more dimension so it kinda um, well, since the, since dad there at the bottom has a little bit of dimension figure, why not kind of bring this up a little bit as well. And I popped a, I threw a little bit of glue on the little areas that are a little more delicate, just so that those don't actually accidentally get snagged and ripped. So we're going to pop that right onto the brown shadow layer of our banner. Press that down, make sure that everything is holding nicely. There we go. 
flip it over and we'll throw some foam squares on here. We'll do one on each end and I think maybe we can get away with just three. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. No need to overuse the supplies. There we go. And that's going to go right there. I'll just get that nice and lined up. Hey, Dad. Cool. And there's our beautiful card. Uh, I'm going to put some little red pearls in the corners here. And of course, we do have a little uh, insert just to kind of even everything out as far as the weight goes and give you a nice place to write a little note, do a little stamping, um, add your John Hancock or your kids or all of you. I can also maybe even see this card being used as an invitation to like a baseball game or a baseball party. Okay, now this piece here, you just want to pop that right in there. There's actually some markers there as well to help you with the placement. Make sure it's nice and centered. Um, give that, I need to give that a little nudge to the right. There we go. Bam. Beautiful. Just press that down. Make sure that's making good contact. And there it is. And this card is all ready to go. Almost looks like a, well, it could be a, like a Chicago Cubs card with these colors. Really cool. Okay. So just like every card from Dreaming Tree, we have a coordinating envelope to go along with it. I have it here in front of me. And it's very simple. What we're going to do, we've got, you can see I've already pre-folded everything. And we've got this piece here that we're going to glue down to the actual flap. So what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is put your glue on the actual flap here. Okay, work it around the perimeter first. Like that, a little bit on the inside. And then just hit these little areas here, like so. And then I'll take this and just kind of nudge it up to the score marks. Make sure it's centered. And as long as it's kind of pressed up against those score marks and centered, go ahead and take this and just pop it down. Give that a press. Looks good. I think I pretty much nailed it as far as the centering goes. There we go. Give that a second. Make sure you're pressing down here in the center too. And then you're going to fold in both sides. Throw a little bit of glue right here along the inside and pull that up, fold that up, I should say, and just kind of press that down, smooth that glue out like so. And voila. And just keep holding that. There we go. Okay. There's our beautiful coordinating envelope for our beautiful card ready to go. And again, add some little bling there in the corners. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do that off camera so I don't bore you. But anyway, done. Quick, easy, effective, very customizable, um, not only for Father's Day, but for uh, probably a hundred occasions that I can't even think of right now because you guys are very creative. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And while you're there, hit that little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a uh, new video for a product, freebie, or any of our instructional videos. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, we'd love to see it. So head on over to the official group on Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can use this little link that'll pop up here. Um, just type that into your address bar and it'll take you right there. So anyway, happy Father's Day to all the dads. And um, I look forward to crafting with you again.